I wouldn't recommend hanging around too long. See if you can find some stairs or some way to get to the top of that place. Welcome! A customer! This is so exciting! What can I get you? Well, what do you serve? Anything you want. How about the chef special made from top quality recycled materials? Deep fried niblet hairballs. Um, are you sure that's actually edible? Oh yes, it definitely won't kill you, I can guarantee it. And since you're my first customer in days, no charge. Nothing ventured. That's the spirit. Take the plunge, I say. Well, does it make your taste buds sing? Are you transported to culinary heaven? This is... Too tart? Too much salt, perhaps. I can brush it off if you like. No, it's actually really good. God, that is a relief. Uh, I mean, of course it's good. I knew you'd love it. I've been working on the recipe for weeks. Unfortunately, it's not very nutritious. People are more health conscious these days, which is ironic considering the times. Nutritious or not, you'd think that more people would come back for this. I think it must be me. I just don't have a head for business. No matter how hard I work, I just can't seem to attract more customers. I've been living on the brink of financial ruin for years now. My son got sick of it, so he left. You've got the chops to be a good cook, though. Why don't you try to find yourself a partner? You know, someone you trust who has a better head for business. Now that you mention it, I hear there's a famous food expert here in Yusnan. Apparently, he specializes in turning around lost causes like mine. I'll bet... No, I know he could help me, but how do I find him? All I know is his name. And what is it? Gordon Gourmet. Despite his fame, he's hard to track down. It...
Gordon Gorman. You are far too kind. Thank you so much. I hope you find him soon. Are you the famous food expert? Possibly. I do boast a certain renown in culinary circles. It cannot be denied. I see. CD's restaurant, you say? I do hate to see a good restaurant go undiscovered by the dining public. So, will you help him out? I can take you right there. Oh, no. CD's restaurant? I'm afraid. I can't persuade you? Impossible. This city is overflowing with restaurants crying out for the debt. <laughs> right, my rule. I have an ironclad policy. You just made that up, didn't you? Just give me some advice now. That sounds reasonable. I'm... Except, if I give advice, I need to make sure that it is communicated accurately. And that means my messenger has to understand the instructions perfectly. Well, I guess that rules me out. I don't know the first thing about fine dining. Oh, you don't have to be a top chef. All you need is a dis... I'm not sure what you mean by... Trust me when I say, in fact, a... Welcome! From the elegant simplicity of straight spirits on the rocks, cocktails can be served. Everyone has their That was useful information, but you still have more to learn. Step right up! Our meat is shipped to grilling and roasting are the and we do that better than Light up. Every one of our fit. We get our seafood fresh. A chef is even more. You're gonna be a real food connoisseur by the time this is over. You just have three more restaurants left to visit. Come enjoy the... Even kids who hate greens love my veggie dish. Vitamins and Two more places like... And you'll have managed to sample all the popular restaurants of the Glutton's Quarter. Welcome. Our customers come. We put a lot of love. Almost there, Light. You have one more restaurant left to visit. Sure is good. Welcome. Welcome. When offering a complete, one must always end. I am constantly assessing. Our customers want. Well, you visited all of them. Well, how goes the. I did what you suggest. That is excellent news. So now let me give. If CD's restaurant wants to turn its business around. Uh, wait, let me. You've eaten at CD's and at the best establishments in Usnan. I'd be interested to hear your opinion. Why? Yes. Now tell me, what did all the successful restaurants have in common that poor old CD's lacks? Let me see. Everyone I spoke to was helpful. They seemed honest and open. I don't think they were lying to me, but something, something seemed off. Oh, would you care to elaborate? Well, it almost felt like they were hiding something from the customers, but it wasn't as if they were deliberately lying or trying to deceive anyone. In fact, I don't think they realized it themselves. They thought they were telling me everything they knew. Yes, that's it. 
It was unconscious, like an instinct. They were hiding something, but they weren't doing it deliberately at all. I'd say the very best chefs, restaurant managers, and bartenders all share. What a wonderful deduction. You have hit the nail on the head. To think you discover it is, as you say, the best, most successful. And finding that something, in other words, if the restaurant does not already have a special something, then I simply cannot help it. Then what about CDs? Do you think you can help him? I can tell you this. The chef there already knows his secret. The talent is there to make that restaurant a success. Unfortunately for him, the secret spice that gives his dishes flair is extremely rare. He can... Let me be specific. Once upon a time, see, but then supplies... You seem to know... Well, a long time... Fine by me. All I need to know is that if I can find this spice, the restaurant should start bringing in customers. Yes, exactly. The problem is the spice is not easy to find. In fact, the only way to acquire it would be to defeat such a shame. All... What do you say, Light? Do you feel like you've learned all there is to know? Listening to scraps of advice from chefs won't make me an expert. Besides, most of what they told me was common sense, and they didn't tell me anything I hadn't heard before. Maybe you should go back and talk to a real expert. Go to the Banquet of the Lord and see what Gordon Gourmet has to say. That's it, Light. You found some civet musk. You should head back to Gordon Gourmet and see what he advises you to do next. <sighs> Can't you find somewhere else to be? Ha! I'd recognize that fragrance anywhere. You found civet musk. Thank you indeed. It's very kind what you're doing. CDs is lucky to have you on its side. Why are you thanking me? If anyone should be grateful, it's me and the owner of CDs for all of your helpful advice. Oh, uh, quite so. When you put it that way, of course you're right. I just get caught up in a project and start thinking it's my own restaurant I'm saving. But back to business. Here, I developed this new and original... I want you to take it back to CDs together with the civet musk you acquired. So, you still... Um, I'm afraid... However, that doesn't stop me from wishing him and CDs the very best. Please... Lightning, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Do you remember what the owner of CDs told us when we met? You mean the story about his son that ran away from home when the restaurant started struggling? Great minds, Hope. We've both been thinking that maybe this son of his went on to become a famous food expert. And that's why Gordon won't meet CD's owner. But he still clearly wants to help out. Let's take the civet musk and recipe to CD's. Gordon Gourmet created a new recipe for you. You should make it with this civet musk. Do that and you'll be able to save your restaurant. At least, that's what he said. Why, why thank you! This is wonderful! How can I ever repay you? This is incredible! Everything is here in black and white! A groundbreaking dish! I'd never have thought to do half the things in this recipe. The genius of Gordon Gourmet oozes from every word. Notice anything else? 
About the recipe? No, not particularly. It's well organized, written in a clear hand. Wait, this handwriting, it looks strangely familiar. Yes, I've seen it before. These swirls, these bold loops. Could it be? I think so. It turns out Gordon Gourmet has a secret identity. He's your long lost son. He is? And you're sure it was him who created this wonderful recipe? But more importantly, he's in this town. Is he happy? You have nothing to worry about. He's doing great. Except, I'm really sorry, but I don't think he wants to see you again. I can't tell you where he is. But why? Yes, we quarreled when he left, but that was a long time ago. Is he still angry at me? Do you have a message for him? I can make sure he gets it. Well, how about this? I'm gonna make his dish, just like the recipe lays out. Would you be so good as to deliver it to him? At the very least, I want him to try it. Truth be told, what I really want to tell him is to come back to CDs and work with me. Perhaps if he knew that I still haven't lost my touch. Would that be enough to entice him back? I don't know. I don't think words alone will do it, but if he tries your dish and likes it, that might be enough for him. And there it is, finished at last. Here, please, I want you to be the first to taste it. All right, I'm feeling hungry anyway. Wow, this might be the most delicious thing I've ever had in my entire life. Really, it's incredible. Why, thank you. Although all the credit must go to my son, it was his doing. Here, I've made enough for one more. I've asked you for many favors, but would you do this last thing for me? Sure, I'll take it to Gordon Gourmet. I think I smell. I do, don't I? That must be my recipe. Yes, the owner at Seedy's insisted that I bring you a portion so you could taste it for yourself. I see. Well, then... Oh, yes. A perfect balance of fuzzy mutton and civet musk. The palate sings. It's a microcosm of culinary delight. A theme park of old factory and gustatory attractions. And if you think that's hyperbole, I've only just begun. This is even better than I imagined. I always knew he was a skilled chef, but this... So, why don't you go back there and help him out again in the kitchen? Go back? Well, what do you mean? I've never... Oh, all right. Huh. The cat's out of the bag. You've somehow figured it out. What my true identity is. Yes, I admit it. I am indeed the son of the owner of Seedy's Restaurant. It was a long time ago, but one day we quarreled, and I left the shop vowing never to return. We fought over cooking, you see. But even after I left, I vowed that one day I would rebuild the restaurant. That's what started me on my journey to becoming Gordon Gourmet. Since then, I devoted every waking hour to learning about the culinary art. After many years of study, I finally had an epiphany. I realized... You had a falling out because of the menu? But when your father saw your recipe, he was thrilled. All he could talk about was how he dreamed of you coming back. So the two of you could run the restaurant together, just like old times. So he recognizes my ability. Oh, but it's too late. The fact is, I abandoned him in the restaurant when times were tough. I'm ashamed of what I did. I can't face him again. You mustn't feel that way, my son. F father how did you find me? My apologies to the young lady, but I wanted to see you. I followed her after she left the shop. What do you say? Let's start over. You set out on your own, did things your own way, stayed true to yourself, working hard to achieve your dreams. And now look what you can do. The recipe that you created was amazing. But father, I... I left. Not in my wildest, but worse. I... It's all right. And for what it's worth... Looks like you two. Yes. Now let's get to it. 
We'll make cities a success again! That went well. A microcosm of culinary delight, did he say? That sounds rather tasty to me. Was it as good as he said? Want me to pick you up some takeout? You know what I'd prefer over that? If sometime you made me one of your specialty dishes. I haven't spent much time in kitchens, but if you want something off a campfire grill, maybe I could rustle something up. I was never as good a cook as Sarah, but I have been told that I grill a pretty mean behemoth steak. I can tell you're pretty upset. Wanna tell me about it? What good would that do? You can't teach me how to sing again, can you? You forgot how to sing? My voice is just gone. Are you sure you're not sick or something? My heart may be. The cruel bastard, he left me. And you think he took your voice with him? You don't understand what it is to perform, do you? He's not just my lover. He's written all my best hits. We were an unbeatable partnership. But then he up and left, leaving nothing but his songs behind. I tried to sing them, but I'm so angry at him, I just can't get the words out. So you're not heartbroken, just angry? I don't expect you to understand. You're right about that. I don't understand at all. Wait a second. Would you be willing to go and find him for me? I'll make it worth your while. My word is good, I promise. Why are you asking me? <laughs> because there's... Don't hate me if he does fall for me. <laughs> if he does, I'll hunt you down, tear your hair out, and claw your eyes. Do I make myself clear? Anyway, his name is Birdie. He's the kindest, most gentle man in the whole city. He should be easy to find in a sea of undesirable men. That's really not much of a lead, but I'm willing to help you out. What prompted you to take on such a strange job? I don't know. Hey, why are you running from me? I just want to talk. I, I don't know any Olga. It doesn't take a genius to figure out you know her. Do you know anything else about her? Like, where her missing lover is? Oh, I can't keep this secret for any longer. Is this your idea? No, it's true, I swear. My name is Birdie. I promised her. I unwittingly lost the three... Wait a minute. Well... He didn't run out... Ideas come easy. Huh. But a dark cloud in the form of a... Which, incidentally... Why don't you spell it? Well, I, I'd give you a reward. You and Olga. There's something I just don't get. He said he's written over 300 songs, right? If that's the case, why can't he just write a new one? Now that you mention it, I didn't even think to ask. I just got caught up in their little game. Well, they are artists. Putting on a show is what they do. Anyway, since you already agreed to help, let's go and find this music of his. Unfurl the wings of death. Beyond death, there is no good or evil. You brought me some seeds, hmm? Would you care to show me your... A deal's a deal. You know what? Here, take this too. Cons
I don't plan on losing. Thank you. I can finally return to Olga and... Where have you been all this time? Don't you realize that people were actually worried? Olga, my love, be still my beating heart. To hear your dulcet tones again, it's a dream come true. Oh, 
it was very clever of me to ask for your help. We artists are cursed with... So that's how you treat Sen? If you're talking about the way I speak... In any case, I owe you a favor. Olga shall sing for you. It's your favorite song, or so I'm told. How would you know my favorite song? It's not a bad song. It has its moments. But it doesn't compare to the sublime melodies that Birdie writes. Is he really as good as you say he is? Absolutely. Of course, I'd never tell him that. His head is already big enough as it is. Now I have a song to sing for an audience of one. I hope you feel grateful. This is a very, very rare treat, you know. Normally I only sing for Birdie or a paying audience, and I assure you, tickets to my shows are not. Um, thanks, but tell me one thing. How do you know my favorite song? Who did you talk to to find out? A young girl called herself Lumina. Now, Evans, if you would... Sarah's song. Yeah, that's right. It's always been her favorite. 